So my generation might like for real be blind. It, here's why. All right, so one day I'm watching Hulu with my roommate Ben, and you know, Hulu got commercial. This is not Netflix. I'm I'm not like uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> They got ads and shit on Hulu. And then all of a sudden we see this Apple ad and it's essentially us following this little, what, how old, like how old she looks? Like maybe 13, 13, 12, 13. I, I'm not really good with age. And, and she's got this iPad, right? And you know, she's doing, you know, usual people stuff, writing on it. Wait, who uses a tablet pen, by the way? She's messaging people, riding around the town, uh, typing up papers and whatnot. Is that Microsoft Word? Do they have that for Apple? I didn't know. Why is this little girl out by herself? Why is she drawn? Where are your parents? And then at the end of this commercial, this lovely woman comes outside and asks this little girl, what you doing on your computer? And the little girl says, What's a computer? Beautiful. Now, this wasn't like like jarring to me the first time I watched it. Like that that wasn't what was jarring. What was jarring was my roommate's reaction. What's a computer? Shut the f up. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> like I like to picture a, a 21 year old man uh, screaming from across the lawn at uh, some little uh, eighth grader. So I got a little curious as to what other people thought. So so actually, actually right now, I'm about to like check out the YouTube page and see what the wondrous <laughs> comment section has to say. And no comments. Comments are disabled. Okay. That's always um. Uh, Good, good sign. But thankfully, uh, with the power of stealing, uh, Average G has re-uploaded this video. And 359. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> What's a computer? A device a thousand times more powerful than your shitty little tablet. Also, Apple for disabling comments. <laughs> I guess that wasn't just my idea. Every time I see this ad on TV, I just want to scream. What's a computer? Compute now, and he begins to like give the definition of it. I just want to punch the. Oh, uh, God. What's a computer? The ret oh, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I forgot how bad YouTube comments were. That maybe that wasn't the best place to look. But then I got like a really crazy thought. Right. I think we are essentially becoming our parents because we judge the younger generation just like how the older generation judged us. That probably doesn't make any sense. This is what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. See, from what I understand, millennials dislike whoever the hell is below us. I don't know their names. What is their name? You know, the little 13 year olds posting selfies uh, the, like Logan Paul and Jake Paul and, or, like on Musical.ly. And we attribute a lot of this does uh, to the fact that they grew up with technology. They, they got their Twitters and they, they iPads and they phones at like eight. Now I know this concept isn't like a direct parallel to the video itself. I mean, like I'm pretty sure he was mad because like, Apple was trying to be extra hipster. But, but to me, I kind of saw it as like a little girl who represents being an entitled, uneducated 12 year old with an iPad and who is apparently never heard of a computer and apparently has no parents roams around New York. I don't think that's safe. But if we're being real, that's how our parents saw us, especially as teens. We get chastised by Gen X plenty, 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 plenty. Millennials uh, destroying restaurants. Millennials are uh, f your credit. Millennials are gonna screw your wife. These people think we're the Antichrist. This, this says the New York Post, uh, Generation X needs to save America from millennials. What? What did we do? Like the true reason there's this divide between us is because we just do things differently. And they kind of judged us for that, you know? Like, no, mom, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call someone when I could just hit them with a text. Like I, if I could avoid voice conversation, I, I can. <laughs> Probably doesn't help my argument. Like, like sure we have our faults, but we also have our pluses. You know what I'm saying? The older generations, like our parents have like this old school mentality of doing things in the hard way. And then we see ourselves as more innovative and able to adapt to new concepts and principles, right? Because we grew up in different circumstances. So naturally things will change. Yet we disparage the kids below us for pretty much the same reasons. So my question is, is the generation below us actually doing things wrong? Actually gonna be worse off because they grew up with technology? Or are we treating them just like how our parents were treating us? Because it's different from the way we grew up. See, there was this quote from uh, this YouTube Red show, uh, Minefield, a fantastic show. And in fact, the only good show on YouTube Red. <coughs> it was 
I forget who he quoted. I should probably bring that up. This philosopher didn't want people to learn to write. He didn't want people to learn to write. I never heard some shit like that, uh, to be honest. Like, no, no, write more, no, write more. But his reasoning behind that was because people would start to forget things. Um, people would, would rely on pen and pad to write things down as opposed to their own brains. And you know what? They were friggin' right. But that doesn't mean that writing became a bad thing. In fact, it's probably one of the greatest things to happen. <laughs> so is that type of mindset acceptable for situations like this? Are we just acting crazy? Or is society kind of moving forward? I think, well, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, when, when positives come, so do negatives. And in this situation, it is not, not like, I, I used the example at the beginning more so as like a buffer to say that things change not that iPad will become a computer. Like the idea of progress is like, it, it makes, it's hard for people. Like what the lower generation sees does become the new norm because that's what happened to us. We're becoming the new norm. We become the population. So are we crazy for disliking them? No, but are we crazy for not giving them any effort? Maybe a little bit, but that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm a 21 year old male. My, my opinions are, are meaningless. I could be completely wrong. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I usually am but <laughs> I, I thought that was something worth uh, examining. But yeah, I, I wanna know you guys' thoughts. Like, do you agree, do you disagree? Um, yeah, it, I mean, like, it's a conversation. Let's have one, let's do it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.